What is going on everyone? Well, not anyone yet, but <laughs> welcome to a another edition uh, of my Marauders Task Force Build a G.I. Joe series. This is episode three. Can't believe we're on episode three already. That's that's crazy to me. Um I was not actually expecting to do this. Zorpox was what's up, buddy? I wasn't actually expecting to do this, but I had these extra parts lying around, and I was thinking to myself today, I was like, you know what? I don't have this character. Um, well, I do have this character, but I, I only have one version of this character, and um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to give a, a much-needed update for this character, seeing as we never really... We kind of got one, but it was like not the version that... Uh, Matt Edwards, what's up? It wasn't really the version that I was hoping for. Um, and it's really the only other version that I have of this guy besides one that I want to keep men on card. And it's one of the, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, it's one of the few G.I. Joes that I actually keep men on card. But this is a much needed modernized look for him. M.G. Villar. M.G. Villain, what's up, man? Oh, you just got home from work? That's awesome, man. Oscar, what's up, man? What's going on, fellas? All right, so... I don't know. Maybe you guys will guess this right off the bat. Oh, not much, MG Villain. I'm just, just hanging out, man. I'm really, really excited for, for this one. This one is... Ooh, this one got my kind of my blood pumping today. So I was thinking today, and I was like, you know what? I don't have this guy. And here's a guy. Um, and, uh, Tim, what's up? <laughs> All right. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I, I actually wasn't planning on doing a video today, but anyway, I woke up and I was just like thinking, I'm like, God, I, I want to be a little bit more creative here and I don't want to just only use Marauders parts. So I was like, you know what? I have all these extra Joe bodies lying around and a lot of them I used for heads for other characters. And I was like, I got to do something with these Joe bodies. And, uh, some of my favorite bodies to use are from the Renegades, um, figures and um, some of the other bodies that I like to use also for other characters as far as updated versions that didn't get an updated version like a Pursuit of Cobra is what I'm going for here um, or uh, the Resolute bodies but this is a Renegades body and we are going to use this today for somebody now I don't know if this body will give it away Maybe it will, maybe it doesn't. If you guess it, you guess it, whatever. But we're just going to have fun with it. And uh, I have pretty much everything set up, except for one major piece, which I can't seem to find this specific accessory, but I think he's good without it either way. Um, this is the body we're going to be using. We're not going to be doing any painting or anything like that. This is totally just straight up Marauders, some Marauders stuff, some elite force stuff we're going to mix in with this a few different things it is quite an unusual build i understand that yeah definitely the neck is the strangest neck i've ever seen it's like one of it's like a like ultimate giraffe neck look at how <laughs> look how long that neck is but the reason for that in this figure is and this is actually a really good body to use for like updated uh pieces but the neck just ruins it because he had that collared piece, which is actually on this guy, which I might use this body for someone else, which is a whole going to be a whole nother part of this series. Um, this is actually the collared piece that he came with, but we're not using that today. We're not using that collared piece either. Uh, he definitely has a serious case of uh, the long neck. So we're going to be using him today. And I'm so glad to finally be able to put this body to use for something. And how it just worked out in my head, I was just like, oh my god, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm really, 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 really excited today. Super excited. Super, super, super excited. So I'm going to go ahead and try and fix my camera angles here so we're we're looking good. So everyone can see anything, everything crisp and clear. Um, and I should have brought up Spearhead because I wanted to go through the checklist because this is already already episode three i can't believe it i can't believe it episode three okay so here are the parts that we're going to use 
Um, we have, uh, I can't show you certain things that might give it away. But here we go. Here's the first piece. We're going to use this tack vest. So there's our tack vest. Okay. We're going to be using that. Okay. Uh, some of this might give it away quick. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. I, I don't even care. I'm so happy to do this. I just don't, I don't even care if it gives it away. Um, really excited about this. Really, really excited. So we got a, a couple different things here. We've got uh, some pouches. We got up them over. We got a red pouch there, a couple black pouches, and a sidearm. So we're gonna put that stuff there. This is our just our little checklist that we're gonna do pretty much every time we start doing this. Okay. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay too, because I know I have my AC on. It's quite hot here in Buffalo today, but. All right, so we got that, we got that, and then we've got this for his backpack, okay? okay. So we got that, all right, and we got a little sidearm. Okay, good, it sounds clear? Good, 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 good. All right, and that's all I'm going to show you for now, okay? So we're going we're gonna to start, this is going to be really quick. This is not going to be a, a difficult thing to do. And if you guys want to go ahead and use this recipe, please do it. Please do it. I, I'm more than happy, like I said, with all this whole series. You want to use the recipe, go ahead and, and, and run with it, man. Okay, so we got this. Let's put our tack vest on first. All right, so that looks pretty good already. And you want to get this specific tack vest for this guy because he does have, like, that long neck syndrome. So... That this is probably the best vest because it's got this high collar on it. Um, there are a couple other like uh, GI Joe uh, official tack vests that you could go with with this, but um, I think this one works as well. And this is for Marauders, so you can pick that up. And there's only one hole for the peg hole in the back, and it does fit, I think, quite well with the body. So there we go with that. And we'll save the backpack for a little bit later. And, uh, and then we have his little satchel right here. Okay. Got a little satchel right there. All right. And then we got this, this other little gun right here. What's that going to be? Oh, I don't know what that. What the, what the hell is that going to be? All right. You wait. What happened? Anthony? What the? I'm running away. That this just like ran out of Best Buy with a flat screen on Looters Day. Oh my God, <laughs> Looters Day! <laughs> oh, is it? It's raining. <laughs> Sky Strikers and his tanks by you, Zorpox. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like hot, but it gets real humid. I don't know if you guys are from anybody's from the East Coast, but it gets like super humid, especially where I am. I, for some reason, I don't know why, but. Humidity here is crazy. All right, we got this gun, too. Oh, 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 I don't know. If you haven't guessed it by now, I don't know what else to tell you. And if you don't guess it, all right, we got also, we got a little, we got a little helmet right here. Ooh, and that's from Elite Force. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm by uh, Buffalo's right near uh, Erie, Lake Erie. So we get all the snow and all the humidity. And then we got this head from Marauders Task Force as well. Let me get uh, this to focus so you guys can see this head properly. There we are. Pretty good head. Oh, you're close to Lake Superior. Okay. And I mean, I guess I'll just save the the, 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 the last piece for, for very last. Okay, so we got all our pieces here. And if you haven't guessed it by now, I mean, come on now. <laughs> I think it's pretty damn obvious what this is. Yeah, I'm assuming pretty much if you're anywhere near the East Coast, it gets hot and muggy and it's crappy. Like, I just got back from Denver and I missed that heat, that nice dry heat. I love that. That's, like, where I am I think I was meant to be born, in dry heat, you know? Pretty good head, that's what she said. I know, right? All right, so we got our glue. We got our glue here. All right, so we got our pieces we got all of our pieces here. All right, this is everything except for one piece, which I'll show in the very end. But uh, we got our glue, and let's just start gluing things, okay? 
I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to glue our knife to our bandolier satchel piece. It actually does have a, a little extra gun in the satchel piece, but I'll get to that when I finish this. All right, so we're going to just put a little glue on this. And there we go. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And that's beautiful. Perfect. And we're going to aim this downward. Because, there we go. Because, because, because. And we're going to let that dry. I'm not going to make the mistake that I did last time with poor <laughs> Footloose over there. <laughs> All right, so we got this piece now, which has got a, so another little gun attached to a C-clip. And that is going to go on his satchel as well. So let's go ahead and do that next. I really do have a lot of fun doing this series. I think it's this, my favorite series that I've done on my channel. It is just so fun to create something together, you know? Oh, there goes his little knife. Get in there, jerk. Little jerk knife. All right, so everything's glued, or gluing. We're going to take his little sidearm next. put this right in there there we go nice little typical sidearm looks kind of like a uh, almost I want to say a Glock I want to say or maybe like a SIG maybe more like a SIG That's what the handle looks like all right next we're gonna glue some of his pieces so let's actually take his vest off for a second okay because I don't want the glue to get to his um, his chest there. So we got this kind of flat piece right here. Um, after today, he won't be a finished product, but I would say 95% done. Maybe 98% done. I'm only waiting for a few more things to come in from Marauder's Task Force, and uh, he'll be completed. I actually made the uh, purchase today. So we got this little flat piece. And we're just going to simply glue this into his chest piece. So let's go ahead and do that just a little bit. You don't need a lot of glue here. There we go. Just a little bit. Boom, shalaka lock, boom. So that looks like something that's starting to take shape. And we got his little red pouch here which was left over. I had one one little red pouch left and I was like, "You know what? We're going to use we're going to give him a little red pouch." Why the heck not, right? Can't hurt. Why the heck not? And I went scrounging through so many different parts today. I have so many bags of parts. And I, oh, that's upside down. You don't want to do that, dummy. <laughs> go we got that little piece right there okay I like the little red piece it helps it stand out and then we just got another little uh, plain old black uh, pouch here all right don't worry guys I'm gonna get to all the questions and comments and concerns at the very end. So don't worry not. I'm not ignoring you. Worry not, my friends. All right, so there we go. We got our pouches almost set here. We got one little pouch. I might actually leave this off. I was going to use this for something else, but you know what? We'll leave that. I'll just I might get a regular ammo pouch. To put right there so we'll just leave that off since he's not gonna have a he doesn't need an assault rifle <laughs> Jeez. this guy doesn't need an assault rifle wink wink hint hint what's that what was that I I'm, am I the only one I don't know. I haven't checked. I just wanted to do something different. 
for my channel, you know? I wanted to do something more creative, because I am, a, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm always constantly thinking of trying to do something else that, that people haven't done before. I mean, there's so much that's been done, especially with action figures. You know, just to have my own little segment is nice, you know? So there we go. We, we've got the majority of his parts glued in. He's all set. He's geared up almost to the, for the most part. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put his... This should be dry by now. It doesn't take long. We're going to go ahead and put his little sash on here. And then we'll attach his backpack here. Which I think is cool. There we go. That is starting to look like a character. Huh? That is starting to look like someone. I don't know who yet, but somebody. And we'll just put his little... I'll put his little gun in his hand. Why not? There we go. And what's left? Oh, well, we got the head, of course. Now, the head still does sit a little high, and I could dremel into the head, but I really don't want to ruin the head, and I think it sits just fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm bumping into stuff. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. That's much better. There we go. All right. Last piece is his helmet. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. All right. Looks like, guys. It looks like. We almost have a finished product. That's what it looks like. That looks like we almost have a finished product. And now it looks like... It looks like... Uh, there we go. It looks like we got a doctor in the house. <laughs> what do you guys think? We got a doctor in the house. I got to fix his helmet a little bit. Put it, push it a little bit more down on his head, but... Let me fix that real quick. There we go. That's better. Is there a doctor in the house? I think there is. There is now. We got, finally, this will be my Pursuit of Cobra doc. POC doc right there. Perfect. Uh, let me find my... Oh, I'm going to have to go downstairs and get him. He's downstairs hanging out, chilling. Relax. Here we go. I'm back. I'm back. Don't leave. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Don't leave. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so here's the only other dock that I had loose. This is from the Rise of Cobra line. Get this out of the way. Alright, there's dock. This is like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this dock. It, I mean, obviously this is, what, 25th anniversary Arctic Snake Eyes? Nothing wrong with them. For the most part, it, it is, but not 100%. I don't believe they had that collar, obviously, but the collar is removable, so. But there's nothing wrong with this duck. I just feel like this is like cold weather duck. Like, I, I, this is definitely like winter duck with, with some, you know, some serious horrible weather forecast situations going on here he's going into a blizzard you know what i mean he's going to save someone in some crappy seven feet of snow weather you know what i mean this guy right here he's just he's going to he looks like a badass right here he looks awesome not only going to save someone's life but if he's got to murk someone he's going to murk them so this guy looks pretty cool. I do have the, the mail-away version, but that mail-away version, it just, 
it looks so good in card, and I love the card art, and I love Doc so much. I just I couldn't bring myself to take tear tear the package opening. It's one of the very few that I actually have that are mint on card that are GI Joe. Usually everything else I take out of package, but that's one of the few that I want to keep mint on card. So this was always my substitute for Doc, but this I think is going to fit in with my pursuit of Cobra um, uh, setup much much nicer so uh, I really dig it uh, I even gave him his mortar here and I gave him uh, this specific steel brigade backpack for extra those are just you know obviously they're, they're rockets but let's just use our imaginations here and just say that they're mortar shells you know we'll go with that and then we have uh, his little oh, oops sorry doc knocking doc over I'm being rude to doc Um, so he's got his little satchel here and he's got some stuff in there he's got a, uh, a med gun he's got a epi, uh, epi gun right here he's got uh, another type of medical I like to think that this is maybe some sort of like uh, disinfectant uh, maybe some sort of uh, uh, maybe like a adrenaline shot something like that um, so I really wanted to make him like not only just like a doctor but I wanted to make him look badass you know what I mean and I wanted to make him look really cool and you know for so long I've been wanting a legit looking doc and as much as I do like the OG doc that got murked by the saw viper I was like you know what he still doesn't have that pursuit of cobra articulation and range of motion stuff like that so I was like you know what keep that one min on, min on card I got this guy in case I want to use him for, uh, you know, snowy weather conditions. And now I got this guy. So he's perfect. Looks great. So there's my doc. My Pursuit of Cobra style doc. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I'm going to give you a full 360 rotation on him. But I just want to kind of show you the quick comparisons. I used the same medical gun that he's got right here. It's just in a uh, uh, black color. And then he's got his uh, satchel with his pouches. As you can see, I took little hints of this dock and, and uh, the old dock, and I kind of melded them all together into a modern look. The um, Most of it's from Marauders. Uh, the vest, the pouches, uh, the knife is from Marauders. And I would say the helmet is from Elite Force. It's from that, I believe it was a seven pack with the sniper that came in. And then the mortar is also from, no, that one's not from Elite Force. That one's from World Peacekeepers. This is from World Peacekeepers. So I picked that up. The, like I said, the backpack is from Steel Brigade. The satchel is from Marauders also. And then the sidearm is just a leftover G.I. Joe sidearm. But, uh, yeah, that's Doc, man. That is Doc. He looks great. I'm really happy with this. I, guys, I was geeking out about this all day. Just I had the parts sitting all day. I was waiting to do this. <laughs> I got home, and I'm like, yes, let's go. Let's do it. I was so happy. Super, super, super uh, happy about doing this. So I'm going to go through all the... Uh, I hope I didn't miss anybody's. Oh, my God, I missed so many comments. Um, okay, here we go. Draft's neck. Okay, I'm way, 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 way behind. Um, oh, okay, so who, let's see who guessed it. It was Tim. Tim. Tim Casa. I hope I'm saying your last name correctly. Sorry, uh, correct me if I'm not. Uh, Tim Casa definitely got this one right. I want to see. Oh no, actually, it was Oscar. Oscar, wow, Oscar got it way, way in the beginning. So a, t a combination of Tim and Oscar. All right, good job, guys. Both you guys, good job with the guessing. Yeah, Scabcat definitely does, like, kit batches and customs and stuff like that. 
he's a little bit better with like painting and stuff like that too. But yeah, definitely go check out Scab Cat 242. He's got a lot of uh, great content as well. Another really good uh, YouTuber, a good friend of mine too. Yeah, Action Figure Junkie. He's a, he's a good one. I like I like Action Figure Junkie. He hasn't uh, posted in a while. Hopefully he starts posting a little bit more. But I like his content too. He's he's been following him for for a while. Um, I'm glad you guys like this. You'll give me 70 million right now. Hey, I'm sold. <laughs> Just uh, you know. <laughs> Send the funds to ODC, that's me, and <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you have the 25th Rattler in the box? Wow, yeah, that's a good one. I have the 25th Rattler as well. I didn't keep him in the box, though. I was, like, too antsy when I got that Rattler. Uh, Pensive, uh, I was just pretty much building this, this uh, kind of Pursuit of Cobra-style dock. So, I think he turned out pretty well. Pretty, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. You can't bring yourself to open it. Just, just got to do it, man. It, you're, you're, you're one knife cut away. You're, ac you're actually a couple of knife cuts away. Just come on. You know you want to do it. You know you want to do it. Just do it. Cut it on open. Cut it on open. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can hang it from your ceiling. Just think about think of the 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 ceiling hanging features. You know. Yup, pursuit of cover for the win. Love this doc, man. He turned out so great. Ah, uh, and it was just all reused parts. Everything I just had kind of lying around. The only thing I had to order was some um, some medical stickers that I'm gonna put. Uh, one sticker on his shoulder, and then I'm going to put one sticker right where that black patch is. So, I think it turned out really well. This is this is what we should have got for Pursuit of Cobra for Doc, you know? Do I paint my custom Joes? I mean, I, I want to, I, I'm going to, I think down the, down the line, if I find a custom design, like I think I'm going to have to definitely paint Darklon once I get that custom head in. Um, I talked to the customizer today, and he said he's almost done with it. So, um, I, as far as painting faces, I cannot do that. I will admit defeat right away. I am not good with detail on small, teeny little features, especially eyes and 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 uh, mustaches or beards or stuff like that. So, I leave that to the customizers. Um, I have a couple guys that uh, do some work for me. So. Um, there's also a bunch of guys on eBay that I shop with, too. Um, nothing wrong with that. So I usually get the heads done. That's the hard part for me. All the other small details on the bodies and stuff like that, that I don't have that much of an issue with. Um, I do have acrylic paints here. Um, so I, I might end up doing that pensive down the road. Uh, I Definitely with Dark Lawn, I'm going to have to use some paint on him once I get that situated. Oh, you did an old video of it, MG? Nice, man. Nice. Oh, you bought the Mantis sub. Nice, man. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, you definitely got to open that shit, man. Dem Guts, what's up, buddy? Sorry, I didn't mean to miss your, uh, your roll call there. But, yeah, this is... I'm really pleased with this. I'm just going to kind of uh, get him... Up close and personal. Let me move his hand out of the way because I think it's messing with the. There we go. Actually, you know what? I do have a 360 machine that I should go get, and I'm gonna go do that. Oreo, pull down the port. 360 machine time. <laughs> All right, 360 machine time. Here we go. Let's get this 12 inch base off of that. There we go. Hopefully we've got some batteries in this thing. Uh oh. No, oh wait. Alright, 
All right, here we go. Come on, Doc. <laughs> Let's get them on here first. Turn the lights on. Okay, come on. Hopefully he doesn't fall over. Watch him fall over right immediately. There we go. Get him on here. And start doing the twist. Whoop. There we go. Whoop. Other one. Stupid. There we go. And we simply got to do this. There we go. Now that's much better as far as lighting is concerned. <laughs> so there you go. Pursue the Cobra style dock. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's do the twist. That's right. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. All right. I didn't actually have one planned for this week as far as a custom goes, so this actually worked out pretty well. Um, I was going to shoot my Bishop review, but that poor review keeps getting pushed back because I keep thinking of stuff like this constantly. So, <laughs> poor Bishop. I promise I'll get to him this weekend, though. Superman 3 for the win. <laughs> I know, right? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let me move Doc a little bit closer. There we go, that's better. Oh, oh. Back in the center there, Dingleberry. There we go. But yeah, I mean, definitely, if you guys want to use this, this, uh, in the center. There we go. <laughs> if you guys want to use this, just go ahead and do it, man. Use this, uh, recipe. Just remember that the pupils sit on the corners... Uh, are you talking about uh, for painting? For painting the uh, the faces? Um, yeah, I know. I know that. I know some. So, uh, you know, Strident gave me some tips because uh, he's an artist himself, and he gave me some tips about doing um, as far as drawing and stuff like that. I am no artist, though. Unfortunately, I was not blessed with that. I actually went to art school. But it wasn't for that type of art. Um, I was a theater major, so I did a lot of plays and stuff like that. And I was a different type of artistic uh, gentleman. <laughs> but I still have a few other pieces on the way. I, like I said, I have some some more stuff from Marauders coming. No, uh, Doc isn't a pacifist. Uh, Doc will. Doc will use Doc will use a gun. That's um, uh, Lifeline is the pacifist. Steady hands indeed. Um, I can't wait for the World War II stuff to drop because I want to get him some like uh, some medical um, some medical stuff to use like um, sutures and um, I believe they have uh, that was the only thing that I didn't have. I can't find it for him. Um, was his stretcher. I don't know where the heck I put it. Is it in this? Maybe it's in this. Let me check. Is it? Is it in here? There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. There's a door to a vamp that I didn't know I had. <laughs> no, it's not in here. I don't know where the heck it is. I put it. I must have put it in a bag somewhere else. I don't know where the heck I put it. There's so much stuff everywhere. Ugh. Which it's in here. While I'm searching, you can look at Doc. Okay, I look at Doc and Rowdy Piper. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I found these old, like really old tops WWE figures, like Edge and Doink. <laughs> just randomly. They're super old too. Those are like those, those are vintage too. All right, where did we go? Where did that go? Damn it! No, it's not. Yeah, 
Now it's not in there. Oh, I found a cobra claw though. Cobra, cobra claw. All right, I give up. I don't know where the heck that that dang thing is. I'm gonna have to keep looking for it. But once I have it, actually, I have a vintage one I could use. I could just use the uh, vintage one that's gray. Actually, I like that color better than the white one. Uh, yeah, uh, Anthony, I do have, like, that That was actually supposed to happen today uh, instead of this, but this just kind of popped in my head as far as something to do today. I was originally going to do my Bishop review, my Marvel Legends Deadpool Wave Bishop, but that'll have to wait until tomorrow, I think. So, not a big deal. It's only one more day. I was supposed to do it last Sunday, but, you know, priorities... Woodman, what's up, buddy? That's okay. You could watch it back. Don't worry about it. No big deal. You can always watch it back. Let me get him a little further down here. Don't fall over. Do not fall over. Um, yeah, so th this you didn't need any painting for. All you need is a Marauder's Head. Or even if you have this um, Ripcord from Renegades, you can use the Ripcord Head, too. I think that works as well. And uh, you really only need a few things from Marauder's. Um... I got uh, a couple things from World Peacekeepers and the uh, helmet from, what you call it, uh, Elite Force. These guys over here. Got a whole bag of these guys. A lot of their helmets actually fit uh, a lot of the Joe's head. This is the specific one I got from. This is from the sniper pack. It was the one with the sniper, the bonus sniper in there. And I was like, ooh, sniper pack. Mine came with him, and he had, like, a, a, a nice sculpted ghillie suit. Let me get him out of here. Put your ghillie suit on, you turkey. There we go. There he is. I put the ghillie suit on. Oh. There you go. That. I like, I mean, I like the sculpt of these guys. Don't get me wrong, they look cool, but the uh, the articulation on them is very limited. Like, they definitely need a wrist swivel badly, like, just to hold the weapons properly. Like, they definitely cannot two-hand a gun. Well, they kind of can, but then they kind of can, because there's no, there's no wrist articulation. He's very upset about it. Why don't we have wrist articulation? What the hell's going on here? I don't know why I sound like Bill Cosby right there, but you'll have to excuse that. Can't you can see Doc's? Uh, oh, can you see Doc's face? Sure. I'll take that off real quick. Hold on. It's just a Marauders Task Force head. There you go. Let me know if you can see it. Okay. Bill Cosby with the Jello Pudding Pops and Ta! Alright, what else do we have in here? Ooh, I found Stiletto's head. Her ghetto head. Her, her and her fugly head. Alright. I still have this body. I'm waiting on my... Uh, I should be getting the Darklon head. And the... Oh, let me put his helmet right there. There you go. Should be getting the Darklon head and my repeater head. You guys are going to be angry with me, though. You're going to be angry. I'm not going to say why yet, but you'll be angry with me. You're going to be like, whoa, whoa, what was the point of that, dummy? But you'll have to see down the line when it comes in the mail. Yes, I'm a dingleberry. But, uh, who wanted to see his head pensive? Was it pensive? Oh, okay, yep. Yep, cool. Yep. I think Marauders is out of stock with, um, most of the... Ooh, I'm losing a knife here. I think Marauders is out of stock with, with, uh, a few things, but I wouldn't be surprised if they start stocking stuff soon. Especially with the the new Kickstarter with all the dogs and stuff and the 
contract ops coming out. So I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't be too upset that they don't have stuff in stock. All right. Now I'll give you guys a little preview of what my next segment's going to be. And I know I showed this guy earlier, but I'm going to try and get his vest off. There we go. Okay. Get that off. I'm going to use this guy for something. Oh, who could it be? This is the 50th anniversary Falcon body. He also has a serious case of the uh, ye old giraffe neck. I don't know what's going on with these giraffe necks. I have giraffe neck. I like to eat shrubbery on high trees. But, I mean, even with the head on there, I still got a case of the high neck, you know? That's not the head I'm going to use either. I'm just messing around and putting things on things where things don't belong. Nope, not going to be low light. That's not actually the head I'm using. I'm, I just had that head on the body for some reason. I don't know why. But it's not going to be low light. I've already made a low light. That was one of the first. Oh, I'll show you guys this. I don't, I don't know if you guys remember me doing this, but I'll show it to you anyway. Oreo is keeping it safe for me. He does with everything else. Right, Oracle? Right, Oracle Boar? That's right. All right. So we got this guy, and this guy is actually one of my favorite characters to play as. All right, Doc, I'm gonna, you're going to have to share some space here. We're going to put you right there. Um, speaking of Doc, I mean, it, this just makes sense. It's so fitting that, you know, we're talking about Doc, right? And one of my one of my uh, one of my favorite games to play is Rainbow Six Siege, and there's another Doc. So I made Rainbow Six Siege Doc. I think I did a little segment on him last year, but he is all Marauders. And as you can see, he's got the um, that's the stickers. These are the stickers I'm waiting for from Marauders, right there. But uh, there is Doc in all of his glory. I think he looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Good looking doc right there. So we got two docs. Different universes, you know? Do I mix all my Joes together from different lines, like 50th, 25th, and Renegades? Uh, no. I usually put my 25th guys with the 25th guys. And then I'll put um, anything Pursuit of Cobra, 30th anniversary, Rise of Cobra, Ooh, Retaliation, some, well, I, this is the thing, I, I customize a lot that I use from, like a lot of stuff that I use for, from Retaliation are just used for customs, because the bodies are more modern, so I like to use those for different uh, characters, but um, for the most part, anything after the 25th anniversary that is so modernized looking i usually use for a pursuit of cobra display and that's when i usually say when i say pursuit of cobra style um i usually try to go for the most modern but i separate everything pretty much so pursuit of cobra rise of cobra some retaliation stuff i mix mix all together and then uh 30th anniversary i mix together with pursuit of cobra and all that other stuff um what else but I try to make, like, sub-teams and stuff like that. It's, it's a fun thing to do. I like to do it. So anything modern, I usually stick all the modern stuff together. And then the 25th anniversary stuff, I always stick that stuff together. Um, including, like, FSS. If I happen to get some, um, I'll stick those with the uh, 25th ones, obviously. You can't do it either. All movie lines are together, 50th with 50th, and so on. Yeah, the 50th line, um, it depends. Like, 50, I, I, there's a few that I can mix in with Pursuit of Cobra, because I feel like some of the 50th stuff was meant for Pursuit of Cobra, was meant to be in that line. Um, and some obviously wasn't, you know, it was their take on the 25th anniversary, like, um... I really like the 50th Leatherneck, so I put in with my Pursuit of Cobra stuff, because 
really, he's the go-to Leatherneck at the end of the day. Uh, for me, at least. Um, Roadblock, I mean, definitely as far as if you didn't get... My go-to Roadblock is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Roadblock that came out, I think, last year in that box set. Here's a good one. I got a really good deal on him. I think I only paid like 25 bucks for that Roadblock. Um, so I got super lucky with that guy. I was really happy with it. Um, but other than that, I mean, I would say probably Resolute Roadblock would be the go-to Roadblock for your modern look, you know? 2016 Joe's 50th Pursuit of Cobra can go together. Yep. Yep, I agree. Especially if there's, like, like the best version of something. I usually like to put that with, uh, like, I'll mix and match with, like, like here's a perfect example. Like, there's a, we've got a whole bunch of different Steelers, right? But, like, this, this was, uh, and he's got a, kind of got crappy articulation, but he works. He doesn't need, like, the most dynamic articulation. Let's see if I can fit him in here. This is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Steeler, and it's you know it's it's got his original helmet, but it, it's it's more of a, an updated look for him, and it doesn't have to necessarily be like overly done to the nth degree of being modern. But I mean, you just look at him and you think modern GI Joe. Like that's what I think of when I think of that Steeler, you know. Uh, obviously, like. Like other characters, like uh, cross country, bazooka, um, hit and run, for the most part, I like to think of those as my like the the vintage guys, you know. Uh, Flint from the 25th anniversary, he's going to stay with the 25th anniversary stuff. 25th anniversary stalker is going to stay with that. 30th anniversary stalker goes with my pursuit of cobra stuff. It just works well that way, I think. You got your my, yours all mixed up. Hey, man, wh whatever makes you happy, dumb guts. Whatever makes you happy. Um, only have one 25th, which is a paratrooper. Yeah, paratroopers, they go, the 25th anniversary paratroopers or the Rise of Cobra paratroopers go with anything. That, that, that's, I mean, I got my, my Rise of Cobra paratrooper, Cobra paratrooper. Uh, he's kind of like their lieutenant or squad leader and then all the 25th guys are kind of like the squad you know i think it just works well that way you notice the 50th line uses parts from the preceding lines yeah it does it definitely does yep the 50th line i mean there's some gems in the 50th line there are definitely some gems uh it's not all it's not all poo poo you know Some of the quality control issues, like I definitely got a lot of figures that were brand new that were kind of loose coming out of packaging, but other than that, I mean, there are some good ones. Yeah, I love the Rise of Cobra Paratrooper or the 25th Anniversary Paratroopers. They're just fantastic figures overall. They're some of my, uh, my favorite uh, Cobra figures as far as modern figures go. You've been trying to mix and match, but you can't do it. How do I do it? <laughs> oh, how do you do it, them guts? I mean, it's okay to mix and match, you know. And if you don't like it, that's okay, too. Yeah, I need to get some more of those 25th paratroopers. I'd like to get maybe one more Rise of Cobra one as well. They don't really go for much, which is good. So you can really kind of play the market with those. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy. All right, let me get these guys out of the way. Oop. Let's steal it out of there. And Steeler actually works pretty well with the... With the uh, guys. There we go. Um, Steeler actually works really well with the um, 25th anniversary Mobat. This, even in the modern one, I still think it looks good. And he fits right in there, nice and nice and tight. Toy, like a toy girl. Another guy I like to use for my modern stuff. Or for my modern um, 
See, I don't have a mauler. I'd like to get a mauler down the road. I use this guy for my mauler. So I'd like to do that eventually. But I don't have a mauler. I actually originally want to put him with the grizzly. I think he works with well with the grizzly. To be honest with you, I just love the the black jacket. Looks really good. The helmet. Just really dig this design. Looks really nice. Very nicely, nicely done. I just wish his elbow bends were a little bit better. He's got that 25th anniversary elbow bend. Do I do any stop motion? No, I do not. I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. I could tr attempt to, but it, I don't think it'll be very good. I've never actually done. I think I did it a couple times for what was this school project? Um, and it was actually, <laughs> it was actually back when um, I was in uh, what was it seventh grade, and we had this school project for it was like a, for science fair. And it was a, a, for a bottle rocket. And we did like, what was it? We, we, we took the bottle rocket and decked it out like, because um, at the time, I think it was what, 97 or 96 when Star Trek First Contact came out, something like that. I think it was 96. But it just came out and like me and my friend Matt were like super geeked about it because we were big Trekkies too. Um, and we took the bottle rocket, we set it up like the first contact missile or whatever you want to call it uh, <laughs> and we had Picard there we did our own little stop motion and everything and then we had the Borg like attacking Picard it wasn't like obviously mover, movie accurate it was just like a setup scene and um, yeah we got we definitely got an A plus for that That was we did a pretty good job but my friend Matt was actually the, the one that knew how to do stop motion so he kind of showed me a thing or two but that was probably one of the few times I've done stop motion. It's very, uh, yeah, patience is the key with stop motion. What are my long-term, oh wait, hold on. You got, okay, you guys are talking, okay. Um, I have a hard time mixing my displays. Pensive, do hey man, do what you do, do what you do, man. We all we all have our own ways of collecting, you know. It's nothing stupid, nothing stupid, you know. Uh, what are my long term plans for my collection? Ooh. Hmm. Uh, who has zero foot articulation? He's got he's got foot articulation. He's got swivels and a, a bend. Um, are you talking about Steeler? Yeah, Steeler doesn't have any foot articulation. The modern one, or the the Comic Con one. Uh, my long term plans for my collection. I don't know if I have like a long term plan. To be honest with you, I just I get what I like and what makes me happy, and I just go with it. Yeah, Steeler. Yep, them guts. Yep. Um, yeah, I just I just get what I like. You know, obviously, room is eventually going to become an issue. I don't want to be... I, I'm not talking like hoarding situation, but, you know, eventually I'm probably going to sell some stuff. I, there was a point where I sold a lot of my Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Um, I still have some left. Uh, I might start selling more of them off just because I feel like Hasbro, in certain areas, is doing a better job. Um, just to make room, because, you know, room is always an issue whenever you're a collector, you know? But, uh, let me know if this is bothering you, if it's giving anyone motion sickness, I'll turn it off. Here, I'll just turn it off. Where's the... There we go. Put his helmet back on, too. Come here, Doc. You're all glued in anyway. But, uh, get on there. It's a little bit of a tight fit on this head. I don't know how it would be on another head, but I think this still looks pretty damn good. Oh, knocked over the other dock. There we go. Okay, perfect. So, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know as far as long term. Uh, I mean, I know long term, like as far as what I want to get. Uh, I don't know. I'm still gonna keep collecting Marvel Legends as long as it's, uh, you know, comic book figures that I want. I'm gonna continue to collect those. Um, DC stuff, I kind of been putting it on hiatus as far as what I want because lately I just haven't, I haven't found anything that I really want from DC. And I have, the thing is, like, with my DC collection, I have the majority of all the DC Universe classics. I want to say I probably have around 97% of every single DC Universe classics. Maybe, like, maybe I'm missing around, like, maybe 10 if that, um, but I, 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 you know, I busted my butt trying to get every single one of those, and uh, it was it was a long haul trying to do those. And I've done most of the the majority of those reviews are done, and they've been done for years. That's why I don't upload a lot of DC stuff, you know. Um. Yeah, I agree, MG. There's not a whole lot of the DC stuff coming out besides the Essentials, and I don't know if I necessarily need the Essentials line. Like, I definitely want to get specific characters. Uh, like, I want to get Shazam. Uh, I, I I want to wait for the right Batman to come out. Like, if if the Hush Batman ever comes out, I, I definitely want to pick that up. I really love that design. Um... But uh, as far as DC stuff goes, I mean, I have so much DC stuff. I have Mezco DC stuff. I have DC Universe Classics up the rear end. You know, so much stuff. And I, I haven't been spending a whole lot of time, like, on G.I. Joe. That's why I've been uploading so much G.I. Joe lately. And actually, if, I mean, if you guys go back and you watch the second review I ever did, it was a G.I. Joe figure. And it's just, it was the, what was it? The Slaughter's Marauders Low Light. And that was, what, over five years, going on six years. So, I mean, it was a long time ago. And uh, I know I've sporadically uh, done G.I. Joe reviews throughout the years. But, I, I you know, I have so much to review here as far as G.I. Joe. Like, I have a Mobile Command Center I got to review. I got a Killer Whale I got to review. I got a Brawler I got to review. Terror Drone. The more uh, the more hydrofoil, I got a, the bug, the uh, pursuit of cobra hiss tank. You know what I mean? I have the GI Joe headquarters to review. I have so much stuff that I have to review that I have it with GI Joe, and that's why I'm trying to kind of nip in the bud. So this has been kind of the priority for me lately because I haven't been getting out the Joe content that I've been wanting to. So. And a lot of it has been a lot there. I mean, I have a ton of Marvel Legends reviews, but uh, I need to, you know, start balancing things a little bit more. So, But uh, it's not to say that I'm not going to do other reviews. Oh, you're a Green Lantern fan? So am I. Who's your favorite Green Lantern? Mine's uh, Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner and I would say Jon Stewart. Those are my two. Kilowog's pretty cool, too. I like Kilowog. Yeah, no, I'll probably never sell my Joes. I'll, I'll never do that. Because I, I, you know, Joes were very important to me growing up. I mean, when I was growing up, it was all about G.I. Joe for me. That's That was like G.I. Joe. It was superpowers. It was uh, later on the X-Men, because that was until the 90s. But in the 80s, I mean, it was all about superpowers for me. Um... Uh, G.I. Joe. I never, you know what, and I, I, I'm i not saying that, that there's anything wrong with Transformers. I just never, I never, like, really, really got into Transformers like some people did. And they're really cool. I had a couple. I think I had an Optimus Prime, and I had a, a few others. But um, I had uh, Soundwave, G1 Soundwave. Um but I never, like, really got into them. Like, I had a whole bunch of Masters of the Universe class, and a whole bunch... Oh, my God, I probably had every single Ninja Turtle figure from the Vintage line. Every single one. Every single... I had the I had the bus, or the, the bus, the van. I had the van. I had the sewer. I had the... Ter I still have my Technodrome, but it's kind of a mess. <laughs> Hey, 
Hal Jordan and John Stewart. Okay, yeah, those are two goodies. John Stewart's a boss, man. He's a boss. That was a little bit later, Woodman. Yeah, I, I didn't get the. I never had the straight arm Joes. I started. Uh, I started in '86, so I was a little bit late. But the good thing was is that I had places like Gold Circle and Hills, Kmart in my area, where I could go there if Toys R Us didn't have the older ones, and they were in the bargain bin, which was fantastic. Um, There's also a lot of GoBots in the bargain bins as well. <laughs> Yeah, Mo2 Turtles for me. Yep, same here, man. Star Wars, I had a ton. Oh my God, I have so many Star Wars figures. So many vintage Star Wars. I still have some. I have a tackle box somewhere. I should go through it. I may I'll do that as a segment. We'll go through my old tackle box and see what we have left over from when I was a kid. It's one of the few things that I have, and there's another segment I wanted to do. I was actually talking to Strident about that today, and I was like, you know what? I need to go over to my mother's house and just bring the camera over there and do a live segment with you guys and like the tackle box I was talking about just now um, just go through some of my old stuff and we'll just go through it together and look at some of what's left over from uh, uh, the uh, the natural disaster I had or no, I shouldn't say natural disaster it's a you know there was a flood and they got ruined and that happened oh you started uh, Dem Guts you started when uh, Barbecue was released Remember when Joe's were like three bucks? Oh, yeah, I remember those $3 days. Yeah, those were the good old days, man. Those were the good old days. I remember my, uh, I was fortunate enough to, you know, if I was good in school, and I was, I was never a school person, you know what I mean? Like, I did what I had to do to, to, uh, to go to school, get my Regents diploma, and finish high school, and got my degree in college, but I never, like, like school was just never my thing. It was always about me getting home and being in and doing what I wanted to do, you know, and being creative and doing other things, you know. That's why I kind of went to art school because you could focus on you didn't necessarily have to focus 100% on just academics all the time. You know, you had to do your region stuff, but um we could focus on our major, which was mine was theater, so and we had, uh, the cool thing about my art school was that, uh, my art high school was that we actually got two periods a day for our theater, like theater or whether it was art, you know what I mean? Like we got them back to back. So it was two 40 minute periods. It was actually really nice. It was pretty cool. Yeah. $3 Joe's were awesome. They, you, yeah, I know, man. I wish they had them, too. I know. I miss those days where you could just run to the store. I just miss seeing G.I. Joe's on the pegs, man. I just... I, I miss the, the... Like, I missed out on a lot of the Pursuit of Cobra stuff, but I missed those days where I'd go to Walgreens and I'd see Pursuit of Cobra just sitting on the shelf, and I'm like, damn, why can't we at least get something on the shelf right now? This is like... It's like super depressing to have to go to ebay and pay those crazy ebay prices like what was it i was in the search for the rise of cobra flash the anthony gambello flash because i wanted a modern flash to go side to side with my 25th anniversary guy and i'm like why can't why is he 20 dollars? like no one gave a shit about that figure like what was it like a couple months ago when I was looking for it. Now all of a sudden he's like $23. I'm like, why is this a thing? Like, even like 17 bucks is like a lot for that figure because people diss the shit out of that figure. Now all of a sudden he's 17 to $23. I'm like, what? When did this occur? I know, right? It is weird, MG. It's like we don't see anything, any quality on the shelf anymore. It's like a poo poo platter, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, yep. Blizzard. What was it? I remember I went to first time, and that's why I had to get um. 
that vintage, where is he? Where did you go, sir? Oh, here he is. That's why I had to get this guy. Because he's one of the ones that like meant a lot to me. This was one of the first Joes. Whoa, I'm knocking everything over now. Chill out, Doc. Other Doc. Like this guy meant a lot to me, getting him. Um, he was one of the first ones I ever got in store. I remember um, it was actually, I think, who was it? I think it was my babysitter at the time. She took me to Toys R Us, and I was like, um, <laughs> this was also around the time where I had a, or you guys are going to want to bomb it after you hear this. I went through a mayonnaise sandwich phase when I was a kid. It's disgusting, I know. I don't even like, I don't even like saying the word mayonnaise anymore. But I went through a mayonnaise <laughs> sandwich phase where I'd get home from school and my, <laughs> my, my babysitter would make me a mayonnaise sandwich. So anyways, we didn't have any mayonnaise and I was upset, I guess. I was a kid. I was like, oh, I don't really want my mayonnaise sandwich. So she took me to Toys R Us instead because I'm a spoiled little brat at the time because I didn't get my damn mayonnaise sandwich like a little jerk. And uh, she took me to Toys R Us, and I remember seeing this gentleman on the shelf for three bucks. And uh, he was one of the first in-store purchases I actually, like, remember seeing. And I was like, he stood out out of everyone else. I was like, wow, I have to, like, I have to get this guy. He's so cool. And at the time, you know, Chuck Norris, and obviously we know the similarities with him and Chuck Norris and looking that way, but... Yeah, man, it, that's it's just a funny story. Me and my stupid mayonnaise sandwich got to, ended up getting me uh, uh, <laughs> that guy right there, <laughs> Mr. Outback, Mr. Selkirk. Yeah, pensive. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we're here for. We're we're all we all like the same things, you know. That's the good thing. That's why that's why we do that's why I do these things, you know. That's why I try to do videos as much as possible because I was slacking for quite a while. But a lot's changed in my life too, so. Your first two Joes were Scarlet and Snake Eyes. The man he said, yeah, I know the man is disgusting. Ugh. Can't even, I don't even like like I said, I don't even I hate mayonnaise. I haven't eaten mayonnaise in probably 15 to six, 15 or 16 years, something like that. A long time. It's been a long time. I'd say longer than that, maybe 20 years. I forgot that you have the 25th barbecue and a Slaughter's Marauder version. I have the Slaughter's Marauder's version of barbecue, yeah. Cheese tortillas, were you thinking? Well, I mean, I'd rather eat a cheese tortilla. That sounds more enticing than a friggin' mayonnaise sandwich on white bread. Ugh. Ugh, it's like just pure vomit. Mayo sandwich was a shit back in the day when nothing was in the fridge. That and a syrup sandwich? Wow! That's on another level. Oh, your first Joe was the Straight Arm Flash? Yeah, he's a good one. You could still get uh, the Straight Arm Flash for, for not too uh, horrible of a price. Like the $20 range. I saw, what was it, one, I think the other day, it was like 20 bucks fully complete with the card. I was like, what? For real? Because Straight Arms, I know, go for crazy prices. But for some reason, Flash doesn't hold value. I don't know why. I dig Flash. I like him. Yeah, mayo's gross. I don't like mayo. Personal preference thing. I just, ugh. No, thank you. The, I think French, I think French people, I'm not trying to stereotype here, but I think uh, French people like uh, using mayo. I know when I went down to Denver, they were like, they're like, uh, what was it? I ordered chicken wings, and I was like, and I'm from like the chicken wing capital of the country, Buffalo, New York. So I go to Denver, and I'm like, I order some wings, and my friend brings me like the best wing place there, and they're like, Would you like some ranch with that? And I'm like, What? I just looked at him like, What did you just say? 
Did you say ranch? Ooh. No, I would like some blue cheese, please. <laughs> it was funny. She actually looked at me, the waitress looked at me like I was nuts. I was like, no, man, you got to have some blue cheese in that. Blue cheese with wings, man. Come on, man. Different cultures, though. You know, you got to respect the different cultures. Miracle Whip. Oh, yeah. I've never had uh, a Miracle Whip. Yeah, no no mayo. No, thank you. Ugh. Oh, PB&Js are dope. PB&Js are our life, man. Every time you go to the cereal aisle with your son and tell him about free the free lifeline figure and the Kellogg's box. Oh, my God. How awesome were those days where we used to get toys in, bo in cereal boxes? <sighs> miss those days. I miss those days. Yeah, girl, ew, yeah, ranch. I don't get it. I don't get the ranch thing. It's like a southern thing, I think. Or like a western thing. I'm not sure. I mean, it's like a Midwest or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, it's the first time I ever heard someone ask me if I wanted ranch dressing with chicken wings. I was just like, what? What? You asked me that first instead of blue cheese? Captain Cu Captain Crunch submarine toy. Oh, yeah. You can eat Miracle Whip once a year. <laughs> Pepper sauce on, my on your pizza? Oh, I've never had that. Um, a really good a barbecue sauce that I like to dip in um, is... Usually, I, I there's a local place called uh, Fat Bob's in my area, and it's really good. But there's this other place that has this barbecue sauce called Bubbles. It's really good, like super good, super dope, super dope. For some reason, I like like thicker barbecue sauces. I don't like them when they're runny. You used to fight over toys with your brother? I didn't. I was lucky enough to have an older sister, so she never fought me on anything. <laughs> she had uh, she had She-Ra, and I had He-Man, and we just, you know. And my sister got out of toys quick, and she was older than me. She's about four, four and a half years older than me. So by the time I was, you know, really knee-deep into, into toys and playing with toys and stuff, she was already out of it almost. So all her old stuff. I used to actually play with her She-Ra figures and, and my... Uh, he-Man figures together. I don't know how we got in the food topic. It was my mayonnaise sandwich story. Blame me. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Dirty outside hands right into the cereal box. And that's the first thing I'd go for. I'd go for the figure. I'd go for the toy. I just shoved my hands all the way down the back of the box. And my, my mom would, I remember my mom was like, why would you do that? And I'm like, well, I want the toy. She's like, dump it into a bowl and then dump it back in the box. I'm like, oh, I'm not doing all that. Just give me the toy, damn it. <laughs> yeah, mayo sandwich. Mayo, mayo, But uh, what time is it? Anybody got the time? Because I don't have the time right now. What's the time? Eastern time. I gotta put uh, turkey, turkey face back. You gotta go work on the Mobat with uh, Steeler over here. Working on the Mobat. All right, let's see what time it is, cause I might have to let you guys go. It's eight. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to end it here. I'm gonna have to end it here. Worry not. I will be back with a review tomorrow. I'm going to do my. Uh, Marvel Legends Deadpool Wave Bishop review tomorrow. Probably will not be a live review. It'll be a, live, a regular review. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Let me get uh, him out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this segment. As always, yo Joe to all of you. And yeah.
make yourself a modern doc. Why not? You know? Um, all right. You guys are awesome. Hit that like button. That helps me a lot. Um, use some word of mouth. Tell people about my channel and hope they like it too, you know? Um, but uh, if you haven't joined the Strident Facebook page, go and join the community. It's pretty much like both of our page. So go there, join the community, hang out with us, shoot the shit, post some stuff, whether it's G.I. Joe, whatever you want to do, any 80s toys, modern toys, whatever you want to do. Shoot the shit, talk with us, post some stuff, and uh, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.